You're probably wondering how I got here. Well, we gotta take it back. Let me explain. Mr. Beast sent out a tweet saying he was opening a real Mr. Beast Burger location. It was only two hours away from me. I was in. Except it wasn't gonna be that easy. With high demand and lots of hype surrounding the event, there was expectations of really long lines. Meaning, if I went, I would have to wait there all day and there was no guarantee he would get in. It wasn't looking good. But I wasn't done yet. I had a plan. I woke up at 5.30 and hit the road, hoping this would be enough to secure a good spot in line. I made it in, but I wasn't out of the woods yet. The lines were endless and there were still 4 hours until the restaurant opened. I was feeling doubtful we would get there. After a while, the restaurant finally opened. We're still here guys, the restaurant just opened not too long ago, we've been here for about 4 hours, so hopefully we get in soon, but we'll see. I was feeling exhausted and had no idea how much longer I would have to stay there. By hour 6 I was bored, hour 7 I almost felt like leaving. I couldn't tell if there was a light at the end of the tunnel without guarantee. By hour 8 the line started to move faster, motivating me to keep going. Finally, by hour 10, we made it up to the restaurant. Despite the continued line, this happened. We saw Nolan, Sapnat, Tommy in it, and Gideon. Hey, you know what I mean? By hour 11, we got our food. Finally, we ate and picked up the merch. We were ready to see Mr. Beast himself. Luckily, I snuck in and got to see Carl. Then, I got in line to see Mr. Beast. I tried to get in, and I got to this area where he was coming out. Oh, we're gonna meet Mr. Beast. Let's go. And after only 10 minutes... Let's go! Guys, it was actually insane. We got to meet Mr. Beast. I hope you guys enjoyed it and liked Mr. Beast said. Subscribe.